So as soon as I cross the street, this part right here, um, and the white car pull up. Oh, look, military gang stalker. And they just pulled up. A narcissistic military perp. You need your bags taken away, you criminal gang stalker. You satanic criminal gang stalker. Well, he's proud of it too. Yeah, I just had a little incident just now. It's my first time taking one of the buses to go. I didn't know that the bus goes on the base throughout the route. I thought, I didn't know where Corey Station was. So I thought it was over that way or somewhere. And I thought it was that, I was under the impression that it was at the end of the route. But I didn't know. So I rode the bus on the base and didn't know you had to have ID to even just ride on the base. And then I was afraid I was going to get in big trouble. But the, the guard or whatever, he told the bus driver not to let me off. Well, I wasn't trying to get off there anyway. I was trying to ride the bus and then get off over here. And um, and, the, and the, the guard, he was very mean about rude and mean about it. I'm like, yeah, military attracts um, narcissistic abusers. You know, I was afraid I was, I mean, I didn't, I, that caught me off guard. And I apologize. I said, I'm so sorry. I did not know. I showed my identification. And so I'm like, well, next time I will know to um, not make that mistake. I, I didn't know. I just didn't know. So um, now they had the military perp. I mean, make me have less respect. I already don't really respect the military because they're in on it too. So um, it make me have even less respect for the military. I don't have total disrespect or, you know, whatever towards the military, but um, they got some people who came out of the military and they're targeted, but a lot of military people are perps. A lot of military people are narcissistic abusers, and that's why you see and hear about so much domestic violence in the military. Those narcissistic military men. So, I'm going to go for now. I got business to handle.